Right now, there are nearly 600 people waiting for an organ transplant in the state of Iowa, and about 123,000 nationwide. This week, a group of Iowa athletes is competing to help bring those numbers down. CBS News reporter Brittany Borgie is here now to tell us about the transplant games and why Iowans competing aren't your typical athletes. Brittany? Yeah, Scott and Tiffany, the transplant games is a huge sports competition like the Olympics, but all of the athletes are transplant donors or recipients. I got the chance to meet up with one athlete today who is going back for his fifth experience here just in America alone, but says this may be the most important one he's ever done. In 2005, Bill Klon got a liver transplant after being diagnosed with hepatitis C and cancer. Even though I was sick, I continued to swim. He competed and medaled in seven transplant games since. And after nearly a decade of debilitating treatments, he finally beat his hepatitis C with the help of a new medication. But it wasn't easy. It was agonizing. My hemoglobin was way down. I was sick all the time. Depression. That was just two months ago. I've just been swimming really hard. Because this lifelong swimmer wasn't about to give up his chance at the games this time around. It's what I live for. Bill says he and his fellow athletes want to show people that an organ recipient can live and thrive and that other people should become donors too. They're doing so much more with their lives trying to say thanks and show thanks to the donor family that made that decision to give them the gift of life. Saving lives. That's, that's what it's all about. So this 60-year-old man has signed up for 10 swimming events over two days to prove that every life is worthwhile and to say thanks to the woman who died and saved his. I think about it all the time when I'm... <laughs> when I'm swimming a race, I say her name in my head towards the end when I'm really tired. And every stroke, I say her name in my head because she saved my life. And uh, that's what I do. There are uh, 20 Iowans headed to Houston, Texas on Friday to compete in the transplant games along with 3,000 other Americans. If you'd like to know more about organ donation, there is a link on CBS2Iowa.com. So, Scott mm. and Tiffany, oh, that's that got me. That's a moving story. I know. <laughs> you know, I mean, basically, he's swimming with his donor. And he's, uh, uh, he has a relationship with the mother of the woman who, who gave him this liver. And it's amazing to me that he's able to do something so productive with, mm -hmm. his, with his body and try to get more people... Um, engaged in, in donating because of what yeah. she gave him. Life with a purpose. Yeah. And what a gift that for he sure. knows the family. That doesn't always work out that way, but how, how nice for all of them. Yeah, for sure. Brittany, thanks so Enjoy much. Brittany.